Well, howdy y'all. Handy Redneck here. Uh, quick update on the giant, African giant marigolds. Today is April the 19th. And right now, out of the 72 cells, we've got about 50, 58 seedlings. So, we're doing good. <coughs> we got the mangoes indoors because the temperature's been getting a little low. Uh, we're going to do some planting right quick. Uh, current temperature is, what is it? We are sitting at about, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, we're going to start some more seedlings here in this. We're going to do 50-50. Uh, uh, so this is another 72 cell. So we're going to do 36 of each. And we're going to do something that y'all are going to look at me weird for because I'm a redneck. So we're doing dandelions. So that'll give us three kinds of dandelions here. We got the French, the Italian, and the wild Americans. But uh, some of these will be going to a friend of mine who is a, really likes her salads. So we'll be uh, sharing the bounty. Uh, like most of our seeds, these were from uh, Baker Creek up in Mansfield. Missouri that's about 100 miles from where I live give or take um, as you can see we're dibbling in some holes got an old chopstick works great you know we don't have to go too deep, we just want to go deep enough that uh, we can cover the seeds. As always, uh, I'll be showing you the seeds before we drop, start dropping them in the holes. Um, and again, with the size of the seeds and everything, uh, we're going to be doing uh, two to three seeds per hole. We're going to shoot for two, but if we get three... Well, we get three. Uh, after we get these seeds down in their holes, we'll do a quick uh, walkthrough of the garden and everything. And uh, for our walkthrough, we'll start up here on the up here on the porch, because uh, the weather's been nice enough and everything that a couple of things have taken off quite nicely, such as the chamomile. But we'll get to that later. All right, here is the. Italian dandelion seeds. I don't know how well you can see them. Um, they're itty bitty things. <laughs> we'll do them over here first. Like I say, we're 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 shooting for uh, like two seeds per hole, and. Uh, once we get 
get them in a hole and we'll cover them up. That way we don't lose our place. And use a use a different finger because it's going to get wet. Now uh, this seed starting soil that I'm using is uh, commercial off the shelf stuff. Uh, very light and airy. Uh, it's comprised mainly of peat moss. And I've uh, pre-soaked it. So once we get these seeds in we won't water it again for a couple of days. We will put the plastic dome over it and then inside I've got uh, a seed starting heat pad uh, set on 73 degrees which is somewhere between 70 and 75 is an optimal range for most things to grow you know that's not always the case uh, some things like tomatoes and peppers and sweet potatoes they like it a lot hotter but generally speaking <clears throat> most plants uh, the ideal temperature for them is approximately 70 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit now if you give me a couple minutes I'll do the math and That'd be about 33 degrees Celsius, or thereabouts. So it was a uh, between 32 and uh, 34 degrees Celsius. I'm going to say between 32 and 34 degrees Celsius is about the right temperature. I know this is so exciting, isn't it? Just watching someone drop seeds. If I were any good at editing videos, I would uh, do a jump stop or a fast forward or something. But I ain't that that sophisticated when it comes to videos. And video editing so I hope you all just bear with me understand that even though I'm smart we ain't all smart in the same ways you know one day I'll learn uh, especially if uh, this here YouTube channel decides to get bigger, then we'll sort of have to learn, maybe, maybe not, we, we, we'll take your advice, you know, I, I don't think I've done anything over a half an hour, so... I try to keep it somewhat quick, but so far 
into this one we're, we're, we're up to 10 minutes so we might hit the half an hour mark on this one but okay we got our Italian Italian uh, Italico Rosso dandelions we did 36 cells of them we'll, we'll move on to our next ones which are French we oui, we oui. um, the French dandelion and uh, these these one seeds look different than the others uh, this one seeds look more like uh, celery seed or not celery lettuce seeds so again this is this is the French dandelion and here's what the seeds look like I don't know how well you can see them I'll try to zoom in now the the Italian ones their seeds sort of look like endive seeds which kind of makes sense because uh, they're more often used like endive whereas the French ones here are more often used uh, along the lines of a uh, fresh lettuce so um it kind of makes sense that their seeds kind of have a little bit of a similarity you know you could probably confuse these seeds on this uh, French dandelion for lettuce or celery or uh, even carrot so and I hope y'all liked the little update on the marigolds uh, you know I try not to do too many uh, indoor videos but uh, probably come winter I'm going to have to find some way to redneck it up maybe I teach you how to crochet the redneck way which basically means we ain't got no pattern and we don't know what the stitches are called or anything it's a it's a it's a free-for-all or a free-form type thing those of you who know me have probably seen some of my work I ain't bad at it. I ain't great at it. Most of the stuff I uh, do when it comes to like crochet uh, gets given away or raffled off for a, a charitable organization. The last two things I raffled off both went to the local pregnancy center. Uh, so you know, this here redneck ain't got no kids, but I can do uh, do uh, some uh, crocheting and whatnot, and then help out some of these youngsters who are having kids. You know, we got a little bit of a crisis in in our in the. in the our country right now and and I don't want none of y'all to take it the wrong way but we got way too many single mothers we got way too many single fathers too you know I ain't I ain't saying you have to have to be a traditional couple or anything you know two two guys two girls 
guy and a girl. You know, an aunt and an uncle or whatnot. It don't matter, you know. But generally speaking, uh, it takes two to create a, a child. It should take at least two to raise the child. But that's just my feelings. You know, what do I know? I'm just a silly old redneck. No wonder that thing ain't growing. Huh. Yeah. So anyway, we'll get on to the, the, the tour right quick before we lose all the light. Um, not much uh, on the turmeric and ginger front. You know, it's still a little cold, but they're doing all right. I, I check in, I dig down and check on them every so often. Um, we got our time here. It's up, and then I potted in some uh, rosemary that I started from seed. So we got a, a couple of rosemary plants in here. Uh, the five onions is up. Over here you can see the marjoram's doing pretty good. And then uh, in amongst the marjoram, uh, we got a couple of uh, larger, what are those? Those are strawberry spinach. Uh, we got peas. You know, they're, they're, there's five or six of them up and doing pretty good. Uh, I planted 40 and got maybe seven. So, that's not very good, but it happens. Uh, we do have something in here. I finally figured out what these are. I thought they was dill, dill weeds, but they're not. Um, last year we had carrots in there that didn't come up. And evidently some of the seeds decided this year would be a good year to germinate. Uh, we got our avocado tree here he's about oh good seven seven and a half feet tall uh, putting on new leaves um, an avocado tree can handle down into the 30s not a problem so we ain't too worried about that but our aloe vera is a little sunburnt but it's all right you know, our lemon trees and everything doing okay. The tomatoes, the onions, they're all all right. Over here are, is our chamomile. You know, it, it, it's starting to get pretty good. It's, a, it's about two and a half, maybe three inches, some of them. Um, also down in here somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can find some. Yeah, right in here, see these little seedlings? Those are some more of that strawberry spinach. Um, there's some more there too. That strawberry spinach, that's going to be good. Uh, the echinacea, um, uh, we, we still got seven echinacea plants. Um, uh, several of them are starting to put on additional leaves be beyond the single leaf. And then we got our parsley. I mean, look at that parsley. That's some good parsley, too. I've been uh, picking off a leaf here and there and munching on it. Great for freshening your breath some. And you can't can't be fresh picked so here's a bucket of cucumbers they're going slow but they're, they're one of those that really likes a warmer weather <laughs> uh, our first potato tower with four potatoes in it this one that got uh, hit by the cold is leafing out quite nicely Second potato towers got got three of the five up, 
and I can't find the other two. Over here, uh, you can see th through the mesh down there, those are the the black nebula carrots and the turnips and kale and whatnots in there. Uh, the other two tater towers uh, are showing signs of uh, getting ready to break through the dirt, so we, we should have leaves, leaf litter from them here pretty soon. There's a bucket of beans, other bucket of uh, cucumbers. Down over here we got our uh, potato tower with uh, Big Mac's pumpkins and uh, you can see I threw in some extra seeds and they're sprouting up now so got those going uh, down here our uh, Molokai purple uh, sweet potatoes Again, they're a heat-loving plant, so they're going. They're just going a little slow. Over here is our tomatoes and onions. I don't know how well you can see because it is starting to get a little dark. So it is starting to get a little dark and everything, so I don't know if you can see the onions and whatnot. And we got our spinach our bell peppers and we got lettuce going uh, here's here's our bucket full of loofah sponges loofah sponge gourds as you can see they're they're up and doing pretty good uh, the beet bed you can see the beets there um, they're leafing out with uh, good good leaves the normal leaves Again, it's getting kind of dark. Here's the corn bed with beans popping up. And uh, I thought I saw down here somewhere uh, a cantaloupe starting to sprout. So uh, something exciting that's happening. Our uh, yellow long neck uh, or straight neck zucchini squash is uh, sprouting in the bucket in two of the three buckets and then we've got over here our giant Mongolian sunflower seeds and if you look around the edge here you'll see some uh, purple hole uh, cow peas coming up and then we also have uh, some watermelon seed planted in there and like I say there's a Another bucket with uh, the yellow squash in it that's starting to sprout. And all in all, that's about it. You know, um, it's getting a little too dark out here to see most of the stuff. So with that, uh, this is a handy redneck and I'll talk at y'all later.